It takes sacrifices. That's what it takes to be great. Any kind of success that you'll experience in your life will take sacrifice. And that's the case for your studying, too. You need to be willing to go the extra mile. Someone who wakes up early, goes to the gym, and walks into the empty library while everyone else is still sleeping. You will get tired, but if you have a strong enough reason, you will find the strength to push through. Why are you different than all the other people in your class, who are trying to achieve exactly the same as you? What makes you stand out from them? What makes you deserve it more than they deserve it? Somebody is waiting for you to give up. Someone is waiting for you to fall. So don't just talk about your hustle. Don't just talk about how much you're studying. Show me. Every single one of us only has 24 hours in a day. That includes me. That includes you. That includes your friends, your teachers, your parents. It also includes Bill Gates, Richard Branson, and Will Smith. And so, if you only have 24 hours a day, your success is solely dependent on how you use that 24 hours. How many of your 24 do you spend mindlessly scrolling through social media, or on the phone to friends, or watching aimless videos on YouTube? So what's the difference between someone who is successful in their education, or in business, or however you want to define it, and someone who is unsuccessful? The successful person uses every single hour of their 24 hours wisely. That's it. That's really it. The person failing their exams will be spending much of their 24 hours doing things that do not align with their long-term goals. The person at the top of the class will be spending all of their 24 hours reading, writing, learning, researching, asking questions, planning, preparing, exercising, and eating healthily. Because I can tell you all about your life. If there are empty gaps in the schedule where you're not doing anything productive, I know exactly where you're going to be in 10 years' time. If you're chasing grades, then you might as well just give up now. The grades are nothing. There's nothing there. It's not the grades you should be chasing. It's the individual that is capable of achieving those grades that you should be chasing. Those students that are achieving a 4.0 GPA, you've got to study their character because that's when you'll start to see exactly what it takes. The daily habits that are followed religiously. The hours of studying late at night while everyone else is sleeping. The 100% attendance in class. And when you study the characters of people getting poor grades, you'll see failure everywhere. You'll see it all falling apart. The procrastination taking control. The lack of drive and focus. Skipping classes when they just don't feel like it. It's your choice you have to make. Are you moving forward on a journey to better yourself? Or are you sat down and giving in, throwing in the towel, making do with what you have, not willing to take the risk? Because that's what most people are doing. They don't give a damn about achieving anything in their life. You can see it in their actions, in their behavior. So don't be most people. Ed Milet, one of the top peak performance experts on the planet, explains it like this. Failure and setbacks, students quitting, failing the exams, having retakes, dropping out. It's all going to happen. Just get ready. Don't give in to that stuff. Don't give in to the fears. Don't give in to the setbacks. You're going to have failures. It's part of the journey. And when you get weak, when your classmates give up, when your friends tell you you shouldn't be studying so much, or that you're not good enough, or that there's something better, or whatever they tell you, you remember why you're doing it. You've got to have a persistent attitude that you're going to win. you got to have a positive outlook. you got to be optimistic. you got to know you're going to win. Right now, you need to believe you're going to win. Because, listen to me, 
The price you pay for not being the best version of yourself is too extreme. You'll have to carry the burden of failure for the rest of your life. Start to stand up a little taller. Start to walk more confidently. Start becoming the best version of you. You can do it quietly in your own way. You can do it in the way you want. But somehow they gotta look at you and think, okay, I ain't gonna mess with that one. You're gonna have to put up with some failures. You're gonna have to put yourself into some uncomfortable places. Listen to me, do it. Put yourself into an uncomfortable place. Don't negotiate. Don't try to navigate it in your head. Unrealistic people rule the world. When you start giving more, you'll start receiving more. More opportunities, more prosperity, stronger relationships, and better health. If you push yourself, you can always raise the bar in your life. You have to keep raising the bar. First you set the standard, then you raise the bar. You're only going to rise above average by working hard, by grinding, by hustling, by believing in yourself, by believing in yourself when no one else does, by becoming obsessed with reaching success, by sacrificing today for a better tomorrow, by getting out of your comfort zone and pushing yourself past perceived limitations, by sticking it out when things get tough, by using your pain as fuel to drive you to success, by doing whatever it takes. The struggle, it's very simple. The attitude you have when facing struggles and obstacles is what determines whether you will be successful. And if you're going to commit the next two, three, four years of your life to your education, then your attitude is everything. Being able to keep studying despite the adversity thrown at you. You fail an exam, keep studying. You argue with your friends, keep studying. You have money problems, keep studying. You keep on marching on through the struggle, the chaos, the frustration, the procrastination, the disappointment, the anger, the regret, when all that is there, but you keep studying through it all. You know you have the discipline to be a successful person. It's the ability to know that even though at the time you feel overwhelmed and overpowered, you know deep down that it too shall pass. You will find a way. You will keep studying to chase your goal, to make you proud, to make your family proud through thick and thin. You will continue studying.